All right, no. So good afternoon, all second grade parents. Thank you so much. Uh, this is our recording of our meeting tonight for those of you all who could not join. Again, I'm Harold Johnson. I serve as assistant principal for kindergarten, well, child development, kindergarten, first grade and second grade. On the call with me, I have Ms. Amy Dotson from uh, the YMCA. Um, our safety around water program um, is paid for through our Department of Defense grant, uh, we are a DOD school, and we really appreciate our military families and our military connection for um, being able to sponsor this for us. So thank you. Thank you to all of you who all have served, and thank you for those of you who are military connected. Um, I'm going to mute right now. We'll let Ms. Dawson talk about the program. We're going to ask you know, some frequently asked questions and then we'll end the call. Thank you so much. And Ms. Dawson, the floor is yours. All right. So Safety Around Water is a two-part program. It happens uh, for us Monday through Friday. Uh, half the time, the children are going to be in the water and the other half, they will be in the classroom. In the water, they'll be evaluated uh, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, and they'll go over safety topics. These are not swim lessons. They're to help our children, our second graders, to learn how to be safe in, on, and around the water. And the other half of the class is going to be a in-classroom um, safety topics, which will cover things such as reach or throw, don't go, backyard pools, pool drains, calling 911, CPR, and life jackets. The program will be 40 minutes in the water, followed by class time, or class time followed by 40 minutes in the water. At the end of the class on Fridays, we'll have a report card, and it'll have uh, all the safety topics of in the water, such as submersions, jump turn, push grab, treading water, and swim flow swim, and their skills at each of these levels. Also, we will put in there the a stage in which we recommend four swim lessons. Here are some reminders of what to bring. Uh, you'll need plastic bags for your clothes, for wet clothes, towels, and undergarments. When we get uh, home, don't forget to take everything out of the plastic bag to prevent mildewing and that everything is dry for the next day. We'll also need to make sure that all of the kiddos are changing independently. Your guys are swimsuits. You're welcome to have one pieces, tankinis, swim trunks, or rash guards. We do not recommend bikinis, but tankinis are fine. And also rash guards are also always welcome. Goggles are permitted, except they cannot be masked, so they can't have anything that covers their nose. Snorkels or anything additional like that is also not permitted. Uh, swim caps are welcome, but they are not necessary. If you have a lot of hair, you're welcome to use a large swim cap. You can find them on Amazon. Logistically, what's going to happen is the kids are going to arrive at the YMCA around 1 a.m. They're swimming. The girls are going to go into the pool and the boys are going to go in the classroom to cover their safety topics. At the 40 minute mark, they'll switch and the girls will change. Afterwards, they'll be provided a snack uh, from the YMCA and the boys will go into the pool. The girls will go into the classroom and the boys will have their 40 minute lesson followed by changing and a returning to the buses and arriving by about 1, 1 15 at school. If you guys would like to come, you're welcome to. But first, make sure you get a visitor sticker from the school. And then when you arrive at the YMCA, go to the front desk and you'll receive a wristband. And then you'll be able to see where your child is in the program. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email or call me. And like Mr. Johnson said, my name is Amy Dotson. I'm a senior program director at the YMCA overseeing our safety around water program this year. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Ms. Dotson, so much for um, your presentation. Um, so for our parents, could you clarify again the ratio mm -hmm. of students to staff members? Yep, so it's going to be one instructor. These are the um, safety around water instructors. They're YUSA swim certified instructors. It'll be one instructor to eight kids. Uh, traditionally, we have one instructor to 10 kids, but this year we're trying to reduce the numbers to help increase the repetitions to get kids into the water and be able to adjust better. And then we'll also have lifeguards on the pool deck. 
So we one instructor to eight swimmers. Thank you so much. Will uh, round top students be the only students at the pool or in the water during that time frame? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? My dog. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Um, will round top students be the only students in the pool or at the Y during that time frame? So, yes, the round top, it will be the only school in the pool and at the Y. We will also be open for our member base. They do have one lap plane that will be permitted for members to lap swim. And uh, outside of that, there will be no additional school from Richland 2 at the Y. Um, if our students do well, is there an opportunity to, uh, for them to get additional actual swim lessons at the Y? Yes. Yeah, so uh, no matter your skill level, you're welcome to take swim lessons at the Y. And we'll provide you guys with a list of group lessons we have and the skill um, or the swim stage that we would recommend. <laughs> All right, Ms. Dawson, thank you so much for your time. Um, families, again, thank you so much for watching this recording. Um, if you have any additional questions, please contact your child's teacher, or you can contact me on ParentSquare or through email. Um, we look forward to having an awesome program. We will be going to the YMCA the week of May 15th through the 19th. It'll be Monday through Friday that entire week. Um, again, just a recap, students will need to come to school with their swimming suits already on. Um, they will need a uh, plastic bag to put their wet items in. They will need a swimsuit, um, a towel to dry off. Um, make sure that the uh, wet clothes are taken out each night so they can air out in new uh, swim clothes or even be the same bathing suit as long as the air is out is packed the next day to go back through. If you have any additional questions, again, just feel free to contact us at the school and we look forward to having an awesome time at the YMCA. Thank you again and have a great evening. Thank you.